Number 82. For each of the following reaction diagrams, estimate the activation energy, or the EA, of the reaction. And then we have this reaction over here. Now, for any reaction diagram, you'll always have a start and a finish. So I would write that out first. Always the starting of the graph, because we're always going from left to right, right? The starting of the graph, that horizontal line, is always represented by the reactants. So it's the amount of energy that the reactants have. And then as you go through your, you know, your reaction, you come out with another horizontal line, and that's the energy of the products. Now in this case, we have to find out what the activation energy is. Now an activation energy is the required amount of energy that a reaction has to reach in order to be activated. And if you're activated, you will run through your reaction to produce your products. But if you don't reach that predetermined amount of energy, sorry, you're not going to make your products. Now, the activation energy is this right here, right? The activation energy is always the peak minus your starting point, right? Because the activation energy should be where you're reaching the highest peak. Now, the highest peak here is this right here, right? Now just know that a peak is called a transition state. So it essentially is your transition state energy minus the energy of your reactants. And if we just draw that out on the graph, it's the energy of the reactants, so where you start, all the way to the tippy, tippy, tippy top. This line right here represents your activation energy. But now we just got to find out those two values. Well, the peak, right, we'll put it down here. Our activation energy is the peak value. And it seems like the first step peak is 45 kilojoules. So 45 kJ. And then we're going to minus it by the energy that the reactants have. And that's this one over here, which is 35. So in essence, for our reaction diagram is just 45 minus 35, which is 10. So our initial activation energy is 10 kilojoules. Now, this is for the first step. Now, the total number of peaks that you have equals the total number of steps. So this one would equal 10 kilojoules, right? But now I see two peaks. And you take them independently if you want to find out that activation energy. Here would be for the first step. But then once you start a separate step with another peak, you take that dip as your new starting um, information. So if you wanted to find out the activation energy of this second step, you would take it from this value, which is 25, and 30. So if you subtract 30 from 25, you get 5 kilo, uh, kilojoules. But in essence, I mean, they only ask for one activation energy. Usually they're always going to ask for the first activation energy of the first step. And that's what it is here. But you could give it a shot. See what you get for this one. Let me know. It should be 10. Uh, sorry, it should be 5 kilojoules. But let me know in the comments. But other than that, I think we're good to go. The other thing that I just want to say is activation energies should always be a positive value. So if you accidentally do 35 minus 45 and you get negative 10, just take the absolute value because the activation energy will always be positive. And that's it. I hope this helped. Thank you so much for viewing the video. Subscribe to the channel. I look forward to helping you in more questions. If you want to help us out, uh, you can tell your friends, tell your classmates, subscribe to the channel, comment, or if you want, you can become a member. Uh, there's a lot of uh, new perks that we put on the channel that only members can see. So check it out. If you're interested, if not, that's totally fine. Any, any you know, bit of support really helps us out. So thank you so much. I hope you have a great day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.